uh, let's finish up with the liberal crew. <laughs> I, I just, God. I just have oh. to say, I mean, I'm just trying to find that grace <laughs> find the in grace. this moment. But I, I will say, um, you know, I'm a millennial. I'm not Gen Z. So maybe I'm not the best messenger. But I would just, we all have some friends who are saying neither of these candidates fully supports, you know, my views. Or And I think Gen Z comes from a generation where politics has been broken for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. I'm sympathetic. Oh. What I would just say is... <sighs> The way to build power <laughs> is to start with the reality that we have. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to throw away your vote. This is a choice between two people, and okay. that's it. Right. So are you really going to deny your neighbors Medicaid? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, Lee, I, I hope you have some liquor in that because I, I, I need I, to sit I love, I love Nika Brzezinski's like just groaning while the other she people like, oh, are oh, 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 oh. Uh, No, it's these people are are disgusting and it's, they, they, it's their job to tell people these two candidates are polar opposites. Oh, really? Are they? Then tell me how Harris is the polar opposite on oil, on climate crisis, on immigration, on actually nuclear weapons. So there's two real existential threats that are that within the next like decade, existential to humanity. One is nuclear fallout. One is nuclear winter. Another is uh, climate crisis. These are the two that could kill all humans or almost all humans in the next 10 years. On mm -hmm. both of those, you have the Biden-Harris administration that has pumped more oil and gas and allowed more oil drilling and allowed more fracking than the Trump administration did. And on nuclear weapons, yes, Trump tore up several of the non-proliferation agreements with Russia. However, first of all, Biden and Harris have not done anything to re-sign any of those. But on top of that, they have spent way more on what they call you know, refurbishing or renovating our nuclear arsenal, but is basically creating more nuclear weapons to actually further push us towards some sort of nuclear Armageddon. Uh, they also push us towards that nuclear Armageddon with the proxy war in Ukraine. They also push us towards that with uh, facilitating Israel's several wars and genocide. So saying that these people are different. You're just, you're being absolutely illogical, absolutely irrational if you look at the legit facts and not some kind of emotional anything.